this one. What the hell? Oh, I'm not capturing the Elgato, that's why. Alright. Options, subtitles on, volume. Let's turn that down just a tad bit. How is the game compared to my voice now? Is it already alright? Yeah. Can you notice the sounds in the bots? It's perfect, okay. Yeah, you could uh, you could actually hear it kind of going shh at times. But I think it's also because it's right next to the microphone. Alright, let's start this. New game normal. No splits. Oh wait, I can't see the game. Oh, the noise filter. Well, the way that we uh, play at Rodas's house is... Uh, we capture the game sound with the microphone instead of capturing it directly from the uh, cables. So if the uh, game audio is kind of like... I guess we do turn it up pretty loud. We could play around with it later. I heard about this place. A long time ago there was a village here that disappeared during a festival. But pour up a shot because PB shot. This be that place. I'll give you guys a little bit of time. Yep, PB shot. I heard something the other time. There's nobody here. We need to make it really cheesy, Lucas. Like, gamers only. second here I'm gonna try to get going in the right direction all right guys you ready cheers wow come by vodka <laughs> I'm probably gonna watch that after uh, after this after tonight. You weren't ready yet? What? I, kept I thought you were ready already. Oh baby. It's a bit cold. Can we PB in this then? So that means if my PB in the uh in fail frame one was one thirty eight, that means this PB is one forty eight? I think. Blame Krishna. Alright, I, I totally accept that one. <laughs> oh, 147.50, I think, is my Fatal Frame 2 PB. I honestly thought Fatal Frame 2 was faster. Yeah, uh, so if you guys haven't heard of the. We edition of the game, they did update the graphics and their designs look so cute. Not that they're not cute right now, they just get cuter. Oh, wait, wait, wrong way. No! Well, at least it was like shit film. We're good. So now we try to leave. Cutscenes happen, and then more ghosts. Neil, 
So this is a slight time save where if I wait to pull up the camera, then she doesn't show up until I pull the camera up. So if I walk all the way up here when uh, if I walk all the way up here before she shows up, like without pulling out the camera, then I have to pull out the camera when I get up there and then she shows up and walks. So it's a small time save to just pull the camera out as I'm walking towards that area and then have her spawn. Uh, also in this one there are a few extra pictures that I'll take to make sure that I get uh, upgrades when I need to because in this one we use spirit orbs and uh, and points to upgrade. The first game you only use points and then the spirit orbs were used for special attacks like blast and stun. In this one the blast and stun actually recharge by doing normal fights with ghosts. And blast is uh a very nice skill to have. Oh, thanks for those uh, commands, Lucas. Yeah, so this weekend we're going to be doing a Halloween marathon on the Cursed Runs channel. Um, oh, that was right. Okay, yeah, so we're doing a Halloween marathon on the Cursed Runs channel. Uh, if you're interested in finding out what the schedule is, it's uh, on that Horaro link and it automatically adjusts to your time zone. So if there's a specific run that you want to catch for sure, uh, be sure to take a look at that schedule because it'll tell you exactly when in your time zone the game will be run. And in this game I could actually skip some of the healing items because there's a lot of them. Oh yeah, I'm actually pretty excited too. <laughs> Hey, Hearn. We actually PB'd on Fatal Frame 1, so now we're switching to Fatal Frame 2. Really solid time save on that one. Oh, baby, stutter step. Yeah, so what I did there was I actually mashed the uh, run button up the stairs, and if you do it right, you move up the stairs a lot faster than normally. I'm gonna grab this herbal medicine since it's right next to me. And then we're gonna go into this fight. And I'm gonna switch films. Just checking out upgrades. Okay. The lost village. Oh yeah, we saved almost four minutes. It was like three minutes and forty-eight seconds that I saved from my previous run. So I'm actually pretty happy about that. I could have gotten a core shot, but I was too fast. Not even a core shot, okay. Are you coming at my sister? Coming right at me, never mind. Three shot kill, baby. PB pace on that. So let me see, after this fight. I need to switch film right now. back to basic film because there's a few basic items that we need to take pictures of. I'm 1000 too low for my first upgrade I believe. So now we leave the house and follow our sister to our doom. It's calm. I really love the effect that they have here where it's like black and white with the crimson butterflies. Mm. 
Alright, I'm gonna pick up one item that most of the other speedrunners don't pick up. Just so that I can see what the HP is as I fight them. Hopefully I remember to do this right because uh, a lot of times uh, when you check the gate that's coming up I accidentally walk too far forward so when I pull my camera up I actually have to walk back again it's kind of like a double whammy and time loss like that oh my god and also if you walk too far forward it triggers the ghost to say something and that kind of just freezes you for a moment I love how that guy still swings even though I'm like a mile away. <laughs> well, not a mile away, like several meters away from him and he's still swinging. Alright, so now we're going to follow the butterflies to a boy Itsuki, I think. And he's going to tell us how to open those gates. Oh, there is a game that Hearn and I have been planning to stream since like last summer. <laughs> I don't know if you remember Hearn, but we still got Rake. Yay! All right. So basically, we're looking for. If you cannot find a way to leave the village. Come and find me. I may be able to help. Basically, we're looking for statues that have uh, the keys underneath them. And we find the specific ones which have the glowing butterflies around them. Uh, Moi and Noir, thanks for the follow. Um, Mr. Silent Vid is taking over Silent Hill 2 from Rudix, from what I've like, seen. Because I, I keep on asking exactly what's going to happen, and they haven't really made it too clear to me uh, what was going to happen. But it looks like he's taking over Silent Hill 2 for Rudix, and his time is 50 minutes for his PB. Rudix's time is scheduled for an hour 20 minutes but it should be okay because it gives us like a little bit of setup time and uh, he might not PB during the run. That's the only game that I've seen yeah because every time I've asked they haven't really told or he hasn't really told me uh, exactly what he wanted to do because I was saying I would offer to run Fatal Frame 4 or 5 casually until he's able to run the earliest he can run is, I believe, 10 a.m. Sunday, our time. So Fatal Frame 1 and 2, I believe we would be finishing around maybe... F if it took me two hours each game, we would be finishing around, I think, 6 a.m. our time, which means we would have to fill in a four-hour slot. So it wouldn't have been too bad. Otherwise, uh, if it was going to be on Saturday, he wasn't able to start before Mega. He would have been able to start, like, 
Let me see. According to the current schedule, I believe you would have had to start like 6 p.m. our time on Saturday if you did. Or was it 5 p.m.? It might have been 5 p.m. our time. Alright, let's see if I can dodge the ghosts here. Because sometimes my zigzagging works. Nope, did not work. Yeah, it was one of the reasons why I was uh, taking a while to get the uh, graphic for the promo sent out too, because I was waiting to see if I had any schedule changes on that before I made that. So I just went with what I saw in chat, which was uh, Mr. Silent Vid taking over Silent Hill 2 for Rudix. Alright, so now we have the two locks or keys, I guess, that we need to open this gate. There's also, uh, if you look at the admin section of the Crest Runs Discord, the key for the channel is right in there. So you could actually make a profile with that key to stream to it. I'm just doing that for extra points because I'm, I have a feeling I'm a little bit behind right now. Probably will be. So there's going to be like one or two other pictures that I take as well before, uh, I get my upgrade. Or maybe I could upgrade right now. So right now we're picking up the uh, Fatal Frame Indicator, which I do see the other speedrunners picking up. As far as I remember, I don't think I need any upgrades or fights yet. Oh no, I do. There's one fight th that I'm doing soon that I need upgrades for. And I believe the upgrade is sensitivity on this one. Huggy huggy? Oh my god. It's gonna be bad RNG already, I see. Sometimes she doesn't show up there, sometimes she does. It's gonna be bad. Oh shit. <laughs> not good, not good, not good. That guy one shot kills you no matter what right now. I'm gonna pick up some Type 90 film, which is one of the highest grades here. Did not get that stutter. I think I got it on the first one though. One of the bad things about Fatal Frame 2, at least on the, P, uh, the PS2 version, is that you don't have a quick turnaround button like you do in Fatal Frame 1, but at the very least, you can kind of make up for it with uh, holding square with your camera up and it allows you to move faster with your camera which I didn't know was a thing so it actually helps out with Fatal Frame 1 as well
Alright, so now we gotta go back downstairs, run past the Kasabi. I think I'll upgrade my camera right now if I can. And switch film. Ooh, not enough points. Okay, I see how it is. I think we're gonna take an extra picture now. Or two. We might take two extra pictures. Just to make the upcoming fight easier, because uh, if I have a uh, ability to charge up faster, it'll make the fight go by so much smoother. Especially if I get fatal frames, because there's sometimes where I spend uh, like two minutes only on the fight. Sometimes I spend, not gonna lie, probably like eight minutes on it. That's not as fast as I could go with that. I could actually go faster. I just haven't gotten it down right yet. So there's gonna be a ghost that runs on the hallway here. Hopefully I can catch him for uh, a few extra points. And then there's going to be one more ghost around the corner, which I don't think I need anymore, but I'm going to take it anyways. Wait, I should have just stuck on the other film first. Also, I did need both pictures. Okay. Thank goodness I got them both then. I don't have the blast right. I get the blast after this, okay. Well, I get blast now, okay, we're, we're equipping blast now then. I need to make a note on that where uh, I do the upgrades here since I'm getting blast equipped anyways. Dude, I actually thought I was gonna miss that. I missed that. I did it too early. Oh, I didn't have a blast. That's not good. Oh my god. Oh no, I haven't. <laughs> Well, I have the uh, Fatal Frame 1 PB, not the one that I just got today, though. Why can't I blast? What's going on? I didn't... Oh, my God. Stop turning to her, please. Oh, my God. Why isn't my blast working though? Like what? I have to have one point in blast to make it work? Is that what it is? I'm gonna guess that's what it is. Spirit Orb. 
duo accumulation, I think, is what we go for. Not 100% sure on that, but we'll go with it. So now we go back upstairs. So into that room that was locked earlier. And I think this is the last time they run by the Kusabi here. Basically, the Kusabi in the Fatal Frame 2 story is uh, a an outsider from the village that they use as a sacrifice in case they don't have twins to sacrifice for the ritual that they're doing for the year. Lady's just taking a nap, man. Look at that. Watashi, watch you. Hey, how's it going? For a second there, I thought I saw Washu as in the Tenchi character. Watashi wa chu. Oh, Watashi wa chu. That makes sense now. <laughs> Alright, come on. Whoa! Close shot. Nope, I missed it. Hold on. Hold on, sis. I got you. Oh, I have the blast shot now. What? My sister's blocking me. Oh, God. Oh, no. We're doing speed runs. Definitely not the first time. Oh god. I didn't realize we were that close to dying. <laughs> yeah, we have a Halloween marathon coming up and I'm running Fatal Frames 1 and 2 for that. Jeebus. Yeah, so it's actually this weekend if you're interested in watching it. We have quite a few awesome horror games. She always gets me, dude. She always gets me. Attack my sister, do it. Oh my god! That's what I was waiting for, actually. <laughs> I'm just bad at it. That would be the good speedrunner thing to do, wouldn't it? Are you serious, lady? No, oh, F it. I thought she was gonna strangle you, sis. I'm sorry. It would have been better for me. Oh my god. Come on. Hagu. Give me Hagu. Alright, let's see if we can get this in 28 seconds. Come on. Um, I always do that. Why would you default the option to no? Here's something. Two chosen children shall be carried to heaven. 
Wait. The wings of a butterfly. A butterfly that will save this village. Oh, baby, thirty five seconds. Kind of depends. In this game, it's not too bad because you're not carrying her like through too much stuff, and she doesn't have an HP bar that you know if she dies, you game over. So in this one, it's a little bit more forgiving, I think. Unless it's like an escort missions, like they have a fraction of your HP, and everything wants to kill them instead of you. I was like, oh boy. <laughs> It does add to the challenge. I didn't need to take that, but I'm getting points, baby. Because I need my upgrades. Can't be hurt by ghosts if you are a ghost. True, true. Uh, good, how's it going, Rudix? You ready for the marathon, dude? Neo, hurry up. Let's go. So, uh, according to what I understood from the chat that you and Mr. Silent Vid were having, he's taking over your Silent Hill 2 run, right? Just a little 12 minutes ago. Nice, nice. <laughs> okay, because I, I still wasn't sure because I, I was asking multiple times, like, what's going on? <laughs> Oh yeah, the story for this one is really solid. I actually like the stories for three, four, uh, three and four as well, but I never finished four. I don't know why so many people hated three. Oh my god! I'm taking that because you can't really skip that anyways. All right, so what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna run close to the door downstairs and then turn around right away when we hear it open. Three was just really, really boring. Was it boring? I actually really liked it. And we're gonna get close to this door and turn around too. And then we're gonna go downstairs, grab a ball. Separate characters, separate upgrades for Fatal Frame 3? Uh, yes. All the characters have different upgrades. I yeah, I think the whole aspect of the hauntings coming into your house is what got me really good. Ah. Uh, Oh my god! Oh, I still got the step thing. Diamond key time, boys. Yeah, I mean, I could kind of see that. I think more importantly, uh, the guy, I believe, was kind of unnecessary. It was just two of them. Since the story is kind of fast, if you just had two characters. That you switch between it might have been better. But I mean it's been a few years since I played three even casually, so I can't really remember if the guy's arc actually had anything important really. Or maybe. If he was a cute girl, <laughs> I would have been happier. Yep, so that's another situation where I have to wait until he disappears before I can even open the door. Come on. If I could even open the door, Jesus. 
This is one of the encounters that we always get. But we could actually skip. Apparently I didn't get the stutter stuff. Okay. So I can't do my Final Fantasy VIII button mashing techniques. Alright, so this puzzle is we have to have one person on each side. So now we just walk to the other side. Da, da, da. Oh, I think my PB is submitted on speedrun.com, Lucas. Um, it's just for Fatal Frame 2, emulator runs are hidden by default. Unless that's like a 155 still. I maybe not, might not have submitted my PB on that one. Shadow key, now we gotta do with the light key. And I pick up the sacred water that I ran by earlier too, just as a backup, even though we probably don't need it. Uh I don't wanna lose the run. Actually I guess I guess we don't need it, never mind. We're definitely not gonna lose the run. This one has way too many healing items. Oh okay, so I PB'd last week. Okay, then it it probably wouldn't be on there then. Because I honestly prefer to upload to YouTube so that it's easier to skip through. Because Twitch's uh, replay is pretty bad. Oh my god. Oh, I thought I had it, dude. I thought I had it. All right, so now we gotta wait for our sister to come up here, follow our path onto that trigger. We'll walk into the room, take a picture of the ghost that's in there since we have to wait for the dialogue anyways. I wonder if this will open if stepped on. Yeah, so basically there's a guy that came to kind of uh, write about the folklore behind the ritual. And they're gonna... They're gonna use him to make what is called the Kusabi, which is... Someone that's used for the sacrifice if a twin isn't available. This maze confused the hell out of me during my casual playthrough, even though it's so simple, straightforward. I would get lost as to where I was going. Alright, so we're going back upstairs here. And then we're gonna stand in the doorway so that we could skip an encounter. Or skip a fight. I guess the encounter is a fight. So we're gonna open this door over here. If you walk in all the way before he finishes talking, it actually makes you fight. Uh, it seems like they're talking about Fatal Frame 6 on the Switch right now. But Fatal Frames 1, 2, and 3 to be a remake, I haven't heard any news yet. They have a Fatal Frame 2 remake on the original Wii, which is uh, pretty decent looking, but the gameplay has changed almost completely from what I remember seeing. One, 
one, two. Okay, so now we got the second key, which is the light key. And we can go back to that uh, prison. I don't remember who Ayane was. Was that one of the girls from 4? Or is that a ghost? Or is that one of the writers? From Dead or Alive? Wait, what? What? No way. Are you serious? That's gonna be sweet. But it's kind of weird, dude. She has like neon purple hair. Dude, they better bring in Kasumi too. Come on. <laughs> And all the Dead or Alive girls, oh man, Kokoro, Luna, even Mari Rose, bro, come on. If it was to come to this, we should have done the ritual. Alright, now we gotta pick up a hammer key. No, I've never played five. I knew. I've only played uh, most, or not most, part of four. I don't know how far it was that I got in it. Stop! Yeah, so uh, Rodas and I actually plan on playing through uh, 3, 4, and 5 casually at some point too. And then we're gonna learn the speedruns from. Two hours of gameplay, like two hours of speedrun gameplay, or are we talking about two hours of casual gameplay? Okay. It's like, how long is the speedrun? Jesus. Because I know the third game goes to three hours, I think. And that's a huge jump. No, she's not the main character in 4. In Fatal Frame 4, there's a... Uh... You play as two girls and a guy. Was it like Mifune or something? Miyuki? Or... I can't remember. Natsuki? Dude, really? Can I just... Fatal frame, the hardest thing to do, picking up an object. I probably wasn't supposed to power up last yet, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Yeah, Fatal Frame 4 has uh, three major characters that you switch between. Or amongst, sorry. Proper grammar. Oh wait, you're subscribed to Apollo too? Holy crap. I love his persona emotes, man. They're so cute. But my, uh... My Hawk Champ goes along with one of his Franker Face Z emotes, so I need to remember to stop by his stream and do the combos later on. Okay, so now we're going to the first house that we were in. But we have to talk to the boy first. Because if we go to the house first to get the key, even though we know that's where we're supposed to go, we see a ghost that looks at a family altar and he's just like, oh, uh there's a puzzle here. <laughs> I'm just like, yes, yes there is. Running away. I always mess this part up too because I go into the house and I'm just like, what the hell? Here, 
Don't give up. We can get out. We? Who is this we, sir? <laughs> you are dead. Uh, Rudix, did you want to tack on any other runs to the end or the beginning of the marathon at all, too? Or are you just doing, like, the set that you have now? He's a murderer. What? Murdered his brother. <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna go uh, to the room that we got the camera in. Not unless you need more runs for it. Some, no, I mean, we don't need it, it's just whether or not you're interested in running it, you know? Because I was gonna run more games after Fatal Frames 1 and 2 speedrun. And then, uh, Mr. Silent Bay could have picked up another run, but he never really responded to that. So I'm not sure what's going on. So I, I think, like I said, uh, he's taking over this, uh, the Silent Hill 2 run for you, and that's what I have the schedule switched to. Unless I didn't save it, um, if you guys could check for me on the Horaro schedule, Silent Hill 2 should say uh, Mr. Silent Bay instead of Rudix now. <laughs> All right. uh, well, I saw you playing Revelations last night. Was that just a uh, casual playthrough, or is that actually speedrunning? Oh, okay. if you just show them in front of me and just unlocks me. Oh, and the crazy part is that we haven't even picked up a stone mirror yet, like... Are the stone mirrors just way out of our path and the only one that we get is like... Chapter 6? Like halfway through chapter 6? Because that's ridiculous. But I guess it's not really too risky up to this point anyways. There's two stone mirrors that run along your path. Yeah, one is chapter 6 when you see the mummy. Where's the other one then? I'm just curious, just in case I do get slapped hard, then I, I kind of want to know where they are. I can almost guarantee that something's going to happen during the... Uh, a marathon for us too. <laughs> Bookshelf in chapter one or two. Oh, that early? Hmm. I guess to be fair, I almost died in chapter two. I think it was chapter two. One of the ghosts. No, it was chapter one. I almost died in chapter one because the like, ghost hit me and I saw my health. It's like. Uh... Alright, so what film do we have right now? I guess we'll stick with this. No, we won't. We're not sticking with this. What? Sir, excuse me.
Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. My back's to the wall. Okay, no problem. Man. I think I got both of them, right? <laughs> that fight usually goes really bad for me. I think I'm gonna take a healing item. I could have gotten a fatal frame on them if I actually clicked the shutter really quickly. But I didn't think it was gonna be charged that fast on them. Now we lit our sister out of the prison. Sis, I'm coming for you. One of the weirdest parts is that you have to check the door on the left, otherwise she just keeps on looking at the door. 50% sure it's on the bookshelf. Yeah, there's one on the bookshelf next to the mummy, or not mummy, the mummy in uh, chapter six. And that's the only one that I know that we get pretty uh, readily. <laughs> I, I rarely check the bookshelves in the speed run now. During my casual playthroughs, I'll be checking them religiously just because it's like, why is this game so hard? And now you watch people do speed run and you're just like, hmm, it's not that bad. See how bad my uh, RNG with the twins is today, huh? So I think we're moving on to chapter six, where we have to take we have to take a picture of the stream house, go back to the well near Itsuki, and then uh, come back to the stream house. Why? Why would you turn around? Now unlocked. 
today is the 21st. Hmm. I still haven't gotten word from my parents whether or not they're coming back from Asia early. It might have been a better idea to get it now, <laughs> since I spun around twice. Oh. What? I was actually gonna try to take the picture, but I was so far off the mark the first time I turned around. Real or fake? Real or fake? Fake. So basically, with these, or with this fight, there's two girls, one of them is a doll, and I can tell the difference between the two of them if I look at their mouths. She's in the wall! Right here? Real! Lucky! I usually get like five of the fakes in a row. Oh my god. PB pace. Alright, so now we have a picture of this. Forever trapped in a wall, yeah. <laughs> That's one of the worst things in this game, is like, they're in the wall quite often, and at the very least, this is one of the fights that you could actually bait them out of the wall. I'm gonna unlock this door real quick. This is going to make it easier for me for two parts later on in the game. So instead of having to run around the whole house again, I could just take that shortcut from the other houses and I'm here a lot faster. So what we're going to do now is uh, the doll that we just took a picture of is missing parts and we have to go look for those parts. So I'm gonna go for it. Uh, we're gonna have to take a picture of this guy through a hole in the wall, and we have to wait for him to uh, walk and unlock the door on the left side of us right now. And we could actually uh, take advantage of this by coming over to this door and standing here. We could actually walk outside of the door and stand right behind on the other side of this door, and we'll watch that blue meter at the bottom there. Uh, if we go forward from here, it'll reset his positioning and we'll have to take a picture of him again for him to walk to the door again. So usually you're supposed to stand at the hole in the wall and watch him unlock the door. And uh, what happens if we stand there is we could actually skip an encounter by standing right behind that door until he unlocks the door. Because we're already in the room. Now we pick up the schematics. And then we 
go look for the other gun parts. Oh my god! That's not supposed to happen. That's not supposed to happen! That's not supposed to happen! I think the route that the other one is taking is different than mine. Because I think they go through the projector room to get the arms first and then they get the head last. But that makes no sense. No, they have to do this one first. Because uh, one of the doors is locked on the upstairs area. I guess that's two. So this door and the other one are locked, so you have to go this way. But I swear I watched one of the other speedrunners do it the other direction where they got both arms first and then the head. Alright, we're gonna grab a spirit orb here for our camera upgrades later on. Yeah, so this is the door that I was thinking. You have to unlock two doors. So I think you do have to go this way, and my memory might just be fucked up. Alright. I don't know why, but it automatically makes you walk forward in this section. Oh, I guess not. I think it maybe made me walk forward if I'm like closer to the room for some reason. So I, I, the reason I actually stuck farther back than usual was because I kind of wanted to see if it'll not make me walk forward. So now we have a shortcut back to the doll maker's room. That's the door that I unlocked earlier. If I didn't unlock it, I would have had to run all the way back upstairs. the doll maker's room, take a picture of the corner, realize that we need to uh, find eyes for the doll head, and then we can go back to that doll statue room and place the parts in there. Now, the doll maker himself is actually one of my worst fights ever. Alright, usually I don't have enough to upgrade before I hit this fight with them, but now I do, so I'm gonna take it.
how do you make them attack you? One of the biggest things in this game is that they have to attack you and go through the animation before you can actually get like a critical shot on them. Four shots, no close shot, what? Damage. Oh, the doll still hits you when you take a picture? What? Where is he? Over here. Ah! I wasted a shot. I might as well switch to the other film because I'm actually not doing much damage with this and I'm wasting a bunch of that. Naruto powers on me. As well. All right, we're done. You need to use Blast War? I know, I was actually thinking about it, but it wasn't doing much damage. Wait, I need that! There we go. I was waiting for a Fatal Frame, but it never happened. Because if you do a uh, Fatal Frame plus Blast, it's like... Massive damage. Alright, now we can go back to the doll room. Uh, how do you trigger him to do... Uh... Fatal Frame, what is this Fatal Frame animation anyways? Is it when he's controlling the dolls and swinging his arms around? Because, uh, the opportunities I had for that, the dolls were actually hitting me already. Yeah. Do you use the highest grid? Or, not the highest, do you use the 90 f uh, film on him during that part? I don't think you would. Because it's uh, very tight, even in the end game. If you do it right, then it always goes the same way. All right. I'll have to uh, watch a run for that then. Alright, so it's uh, four left and two right. And the moment I finish, she's gonna lunge at me, so I have to run the other direction. Real? Are you serious? Oh, I should have waited for the fatal frame. I didn't expect her to be real. Real again, huh? Real. <laughs> All right, we're good. All right, now we're gonna lose our camera for a moment here, guys, and we have to run away from everything. save here but I haven't for the last few runs and I think we're safe we'll find out if that's true or not oh my god nope not that way I kept waiting. just like the kusabi earlier uh, this scenario actually is a one-shot kill on us 
Even if we had a stone mirror, which we don't. But we should have gotten one by now, right? No, we're close to getting one. So after this whole uh, ghost segment, then we get a spear stone. Or stone mirror, sorry. Stone mirror. Oh, I, for I forgot. She touches you and you die here too. Luckily, she just stands there and waits for us to uh, get the fuck out of here. Alright, so this part. Um, come out of the closet. We have to make sure that we check this doll mechanism over here first. Because if we don't and we try to get the doll that we saw in the closet with us earlier, then we don't pick it up at all. Which means we have to dodge our sister, not our sister, we have to dodge, I think that's Sae from uh, smacking us again. Is that you? So this one is going to be similar to the other one, but it's three left, three right, instead of four left and two right. So uh, earlier on I unlocked that projector room and we used it to uh, get back to the doll maker's room from down below. We're going to use that again here. So it actually helps us out twice during the speed run to unlock that door earlier. So we're just going to go straight down here, go into this door. And go to this room for a second time. Go downstairs to where we uh, did the other doll puzzle and get our camera back. And now we're back in business. And for those of you who are newer to uh, my channel, I'm usually at Rodas's house every Friday and Saturday now. And eventually we will be working through the other Fatal Frames. And, uh,. Probably be running Fatal Frames 1 through 5 back to back to back in like a marathon kind of run. Because right now I think there's only Fatal Frames 1 through 3 that have been running in a like back to back order. So it'll be really cool to do all 5 games back to back. But I, I think the 3rd, 4th, and 5th games are all a lot longer than the first two. But it's nothing as bad as like. I guess it would be like Final Fantasy 8. If you put them all together, probably worse actually. First 
crystal mirror, guys. Should do a run of Age of State Season. Yeah, I was actually considering it uh, last week. And then I considered it on uh, Saturday. Because like, even if we didn't finish a run, just uh, get something into it. At least remember the run. I remember, uh, I think one of the toughest fights was getting Idia Disc 2 on right, just because you had to do it very specifically, otherwise you don't get the right, uh, or she has mouth on you and then it just messes up your entire run. All three hour runs each, that's not too bad then. So all together it's like roughly a 12 hour marathon. So has uh, 3, 4, and 5 been, or have they been optimized already? Like, are they really tight as run so far? Yeah, I guess new game plus runs back to back would be uh, fairly viable too. Like, a lot shorter. And you don't think they are very optimized? Okay. So that's something that uh, Lucas and I could probably work on then. God, I could have gotten a free shot. Hagu? Hagu? Oh, I missed. Oh my god, dude. Oh, I missed again, dude. Are you serious? Look at that cutie. Where are you? I missed again. Oh no, I didn't. Hug. Need hug. Psych. Wait, I forgot the film. I'll get it on my way back. Never mind, we're good. There's a Type 90 film in there that I better not forget to get on the way back up. Because if I forget it, man, that's going to hurt. <laughs> you have to dig deep into Nico to find them. Oh. But then Nico doesn't keep replays and VODs, so that's why a lot of uh, Japanese are switching over to Twitch though, right? Or did they re-upload them to Nico? Come over here, please. Oh shit. Oh baby. Oh, I missed. I did not miss. Okay, I actually thought I missed that one. Holy crap. Hey. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm actually surprised I got two of those. I'm not gonna lie, those are definitely misses in my book. But uh, that was actually a pretty rough fight. Now we're gonna keep 14 film, never mind. I think I wasted a bunch earlier and I need to uh, make up for it. Active sonar. Oh, 
No three shot combo, really? Oh crap. Uh, that would have been able to finish her if I actually got the uh the fatal frame right. farther how far do I have to go from the door to get it to activate oh boy my impatience is gonna ruin my run I'm gonna lock it up like it did for uh, Fatal Frame 1 again <laughs> all right so let's get this film Three ghost fights. Sorry. Uh, I think I actually should have been using the higher grade film. What the hell? Have I just been losing time just because I haven't been wanting to use the other film? Are we on chapter 8 already? Or is it chapter 7? Please tell me this chapter 7. And that I didn't just save my high end film for no reason. Oh my god, we're on chapter 8, guys. <laughs> I could have been using the good film. Oh my god, dude. That's booty cheeks, man. That's killing me on the inside. Hmm. Yeah, I think my other time for Fatal Frame 2 is 147.50, I think, is my PB. So if I could beat that, then I PB'd. If not, actually, did I beat that by a few minutes? Because I just checked a few days ago, I can't remember. Can't find any of the regular NG? Alright. Yeah, I'll have to look into it at some point. Wait, oh, this is right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Neil, my leg hurts. Is it more enjoyable as a run, or do you get like an alternate ending? So there's news that they are interested in making Fiddle Frame on Switch right now. Let's hope that comes true. Alright, 
so we go back to the tree we talk to the no we check the shrine we talk to our sister and then do the three fights gotta do stuff take care all right thanks for the good luck rudix and see you later yeah for those of you who don't know rudix here is also a, a streamer and speedrunner He'll be uh, doing the Halloween marathon with us as well, running two beginners, Haunting Ground and Outlast, where he'll be doing a tutorial for the speed run. So if you're interested in uh, either of those, be sure to drop by. And so now we get the key. We talk to our sister, and she tells us where the locations for the crests are. Okay, I was like, why did the screen turn black? <laughs> Looks like you can go outside. Go outside? Yes. Why? Alright, so first one we're going to hit up is the Osaka house, which is the very, very first house that we went to in the game. Uh, actually, let me check some camera stuff real quick. Switch over to Type 90 film. I think we go for sensitivity, or is it blast? I think sensitivity. And then I'm going to put one more point into blast later on. I just had a aha or a crazy realization. I thought that uh Do we have to talk to him? Oh we do. The type zero film I think. So uh I just had a realization that you have to pick up all the tile pieces. None of them show up in your inventory just by default. So the key that we got earlier at the shrine is this room right here. And then we come in here and grab the Type 0 film, which is going to be used for the final boss in the game. I don't think he will, sir. Yeah, so uh, the fight with the girl in the red kimono earlier, I could have actually defeated her so much faster if I just used the, uh, the green film, which I don't really need to use beyond this point. So Fatal Frame 2 is a lot safer in the speed run than Fatal Frame 1. There are chances that you'll uh, die on the way to uh, the very last boss battle, but it's not likely to happen. Like on the way down a the stairwell, there's a chance that you can get sunlocked. Alright. Trying to keep the camera kind of pointed upwards a little bit. I'm gonna approach her and then back off. So approach and back off. She should lunge at us. I'm gonna let her come out here more so that I could actually get a double fatal frame on her. Or maybe a triple fatal frame shot. She needs to come out a little bit more. Perfect. She should be charging me now. What? Too early! Uh, I was actually afraid that I was gonna lose a fatal frame shot if she hit me since I couldn't move back anymore. Alright, here I come. Oh, I was about to say just now too, like, there are times where she lunges at you without, uh, warning really. And that was one of those opportunities, or one of those chances. 
right. Now we go pick up a tile piece over here. She's still alive! Excuse me. Uh oh, I wasted that shot. I actually thought I beat her. What the hell? Alright, so we got the first crust. On to the uh, Kiryu house. Where we fought the. Uh, well, I guess it's not where we fought. It's connected to where we fought the two dolls or the twins. So we gotta go in there and fight them. On the casual playthrough, this fight with the three kids playing tag actually destroyed the hell out of me. No, don't turn around, please. Alright, I'm gonna use a health item here too. Because I saw him down to half. So I think we're still on PB pace. But maybe I messed up a fight or two that I didn't realize or can't remember too well. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. Wow. And here I just explained where I was supposed to go. <laughs> Alright, so we're going in here. Going upstairs. I'm going to go ahead and use the film that I have now to take a picture of a ghost standing in the hallway. Before it used to be a waste to use this high level film, but I have a lot left over for what I need to do to finish the game. And I could pick up another stack of 10, I think, at least 10, on the way to the final fight, if I need to. And it's relatively uh, painless to get. It just increases my chance of being stun locked on the stairs going to the final fight. Or the one with the mouth again. That was actually really clean. So with how much film I have left, I'm just going to run through with this film for the last fight without changing. Because I think I only need uh, roughly 10 to be safe for the final fight. The type, I believe, zero film that we picked up earlier, we only have five shots of that and we use it on the priest before the final fight. And after that, uh, if I don't mess up the Kusabi fight, which is the final boss, on this level, or mode at least, uh, we shouldn't need it. So we need to take one, two pictures before the fight. Okay. Should be alright. Famous last words. So we're going back to the tree, the, the altar at the tree, and we're going to do the puzzle. It's kind of like where we went to the family altar before we had uh, five tile pieces and the center one rotated along with the other ones. And it's basically uh, top left once, top right twice, bottom right three times. Oh, wait, no, no, not yet, sorry. I have to go do one more fight. <laughs> uh, you idiot, you were just talking about this. 
small things that waste time like that, guys. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's just something I do too often. Oh, my mind. Alright, so we're gonna pick up an extra spirit orb here. And that should be going into my uh, blast for the final fight. We got one more picture to take of the grave over here. And then the last lady spawns in. Full shot or a full charge of my uh, blast, huh? Oh, missed her by a little bit. Too early. Ugh. Too early. Save like five seconds on that, but nope, I decided to mess up. She's still alive? Oh, nope. Okay, so now we go back to that uh, altar and then do the puzzle. sister. Yeah, there's actually talks about it right now. Not 100% sure if there will be or not. We can leave the village. Yo, Paula, welcome back. PB this. to dodge anything here? I don't think I do, right? No. Okay, we're good. Yeah, uh, I think it's possible to get two endings in this game by default. One is like a really, really bad ending where you just leave without your sister. Then we're getting the other one. Uh, the third ending is if you could play through Nightmare Mode, I believe, and it's considered the true ending. Yo, Kane, thanks again for the lurk, man. Get the non-sad ending? Dude, I would get clapped on Nightmare, dude. <laughs> Just seeing how badly my fight, uh, my fights go already, you know, it's not gonna happen. Maybe one day, though. Like, I think I pretty much have to not be hit at all, is the thing. What's up, Kane? Believe in the me that believes in you. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, I knew that was coming. Play Nightmare and you get to the last boss. 
fight the last boss save. Oh, okay. That makes sense. But I think we'd have to do that on emulator for sure. Because, man, that'd be like ass clap central, dude. I, I'm gonna see if I can actually upgrade my camera right now. I can. Okay. Oh. We pretty much have to like game track it to get there at this point though. Oh yeah, this is right. I keep on thinking that's a door! Jeebus. <laughs> Tired of the setting. Apollo, it's time for you to run Fatal Frame as well, man. That's all you gotta do, man. Oh my god! Am I... Cursed? Don't do it. Don't do it, kid! Yes. I almost shit myself earlier. It's now your turn. Oh yeah. No bots with this fight. Nope the fuck out. I don't think so, kids. They actually followed me to this room. Don't make him cry. Oh god. Leave anyone still alive who care about you? Oh man. Alright, so we're gonna save here. Then we're gonna switch to a higher level film. Please, please. The highest of levels of film. The Dragon Cancer? What? Oh, we got good RNG, guys. We got really good RNG. Holy crap. Ah, I missed because I. That would have been like the best fight I would have ever had on him, dudes. Oh my god, I almost got him in one go. And now I'm just gonna get my cheeks clapped. Could have prevented this whole whatever they're doing right now, dude. You know what? I'm taking it. Fuck it. You're out of here, dude. We're switching to a lower film for now so that we don't waste any going into the last fight. We have one type zero shot that I'm gonna use on the Kasabi on the very first. Hopefully, I get a fatal frame with it. If not, then we'll see what happens. All right, let's go, let's go, PB. 
PB. Give me that peanut butter jelly. I just want to show them my pee penis. It's time, guys. Come on. Come on. Thanks for the good luck, Paolo. Let's let's hope this goes by clean. Is it when the fatal frame when you can chain them? No, you can chain them really well with the fatal frame. I chained the very first shot. I got all three fatal frames. It's just the second and third fatal frames do less damage. It just allows you to do uh, a lot still. If I had a core shot on either of the second or the third shots, that would have been a one one cycle. Yeah. So I missed the core shot on the second and third shots. Otherwise, he would have been dead right away. So I have to remember when I go up to this area, I have to turn left and take a picture right away. I always keep forgetting it, and that's like... You can't chain if you switch- oh, oh, uh... No, but as long as I get a blast with the zero film first, I don't care if I uh, chain it, yeah. I'm just hoping that I get a fatal frame and a uh, blast shot off on him is all. Yeah. So I'm not trying to chain the first shot with the zero film, we're just trying to trying to get the blast and the uh, fatal frame. If he gives me the fatal frame. If I get it, then it'll be probably my best fight with him so far. Yes, I think it should be anyways. If I get the fatal frame with it. If not, then the three shots would be better. Blast plus fatal frame, since I have blast upgraded to the second level, it'll do a shit ton of damage on a fatal frame. Which I should prob no, I have one more picture to take, never mind. I'm gonna skip the uh, the red film there since I have at least 12 shots left of it, I think. Or maybe 10. I have at least 10 shots of it left. It's actually bad to get a fatal frame on him there because he, it knocks him down and he could actually hit me still if I knock him back too far. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm not 100% sure on that, Lucas, but I'm still pretty sure uh, Fatal Frame Blast at Zero Film would probably be, uh, be better than a 3 combo. Well, either way, if I get a Blast or not, it's gonna... Oh, no, sorry. If I get a Fatal Frame or not, I'll still get a Blast with one shot. So, it will have more opportunities with the 90 film. So, it should go by, alright. Oh! Oh, 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 what, what, what? I don't have zero film? I used all the zero, never mind. I thought I had one more left. Oh no, I missed. I missed one shot. Never mind, we're going 90, guys. <laughs> Sorry. That would have been beautiful. To think, there's a possibility that you could actually have two shots of zero film if you fatal frame the priest with, uh, Type zero film. Oh yeah, I think Paulo posted that in uh, my Discord too. I was seeing the videos of people playing it on Facebook, and it was pretty hilarious. Like the time was a tank engine one cracked me up, and then that goose one was just insane. <laughs> All right, guys. Yo, Josh. Welcome back to the Science Society, man. Thank you for that sub. Seven months, man. We're PBing, hopefully. But we'll find out soon. a PB in uh, Fatal Frame 1. I hope that we get it in Fatal Frame 2. Huh. Ok, 
getting there, guys. We're getting there. Two more shots, I think. Oh, fuck. I messed up. Oh, I got it. I took a step because I thought I missed. He's recovering HP now. Fatal frame, baby. GG. No? What? Huh? Yo, I got ripped off, dude. Give it back. Give it back. I messed up one fatal frame combo and then I messed up the last shot or next to the last shot. That fight could have been a little bit faster. The priest fight could have been a lot faster. Oh my god, dude. Oh, I'm not even trying to stutter step. I forgot about it completely. That's probably like a few seconds right there, dude. Come on. Well, not probably. That is a few seconds. <sighs> I really do need to ask Mr. Silentvid if the last cutscenes count as in-game time as well, because I would love to watch the ending scenes on my runs. PB, guys. PB both Fatal Frames 1 and 2. <laughs> Thanks for the GG, Lucas. It could probably been like a sub 143 if I didn't. Well, it's definitely a one sub, a sub 143 if I didn't mess up the priest fight and clean up a few of the other ones. So it wasn't bad because I had really good RNG on the twin dolls so many times. I messed up a lot of the fights with the or a lot of the shots with the uh, the girl in the red kimono too. Oh uh, yeah, two PBs in one day, man. World record soon. I don't know. If we're, we're gonna try, but I don't know how close I would be to getting it. <laughs> oh 